I watched the Dick Van Dyke show and I thought, oh my God, it's so much fun. They do skits for each other, they perform, there's a piano, Maury Amsterdam's there, what a blast. And then I went and I became a comedy writer on The Simpsons and we would sit around on the rattiest couch ever invented in the world, the rattiest, and everyone would just sit there, John Swartzwelder would smoke, and people would spend hours thinking of one line for Bart, the room filling with smoke, and I thought, where's the piano? Where's the dancing? So I got up and did that stuff, and they threw me out. They threw you into a good place. Yeah, they did, they did. Um, how did you come up with that idea? How did you decide, because you had had so much success with Sid Caesar on your show of shows, then you create this show, The Dick Van Dyke Show. What gave you the inspiration to create that? Well, you know, uh, uh, right after the show of shows, I nine years with Sid Caesar doing sketches. Sketch comedy disappeared on, until Carol Burnett brought it back. Brought it back in the 70s, but yeah. But I was being offered uh, situation comedies, westerns were the big things at the time, and so, I read a few of these and they weren't very good. And my wife, in her infinite wisdom, said, Why don't you write one? And I said, I don't, I don't know. So one summer in Fire Island, I wrote a thing called Head of the Family. And Peter Lawford put up the money for me to do a pilot. And I said, Oh, if I'm going to do a pilot, I better have some scripts. So that summer, in six weeks, I wrote 13 episodes of Head of the Family. I did the pilot. And you were the star. I was the star, a girl named Barbara Britton, Morty Gunty, and Sylvia Miles played the two other characters. It was okay, it was just okay, and it didn't work. So I went on, I started writing some pictures for Doris Day for a universe. Mm -hmm. I was having a good time. But my agent, Harry Kausheim, bless him, he couldn't stand the fact that with 13 episodes lying on his desk, gold, he could sell. And I. He called me in, he got Sheldon Leonard and Danny Thomas, who had a company at the time, T&L oh, yeah. Productions. They said, we're interested in your show. And I said, I said, fellas, I don't want to fail with the same material twice. And Sheldon said to me, and this is a pretty good impression of him, you won't fail because we'll get a better actor to play you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great job. <laughs> and it's true. And that's what they got. <laughs> They got he, Dick Van Dyke. He mentioned Dick Van Dyke. I went to see him in New York and Bye Bye Birdie and the best situation comedian in the history of the world. And Mary Tyler Moore was another thing. I said to Sheldon, well, I saw 26 girls, literally. 20, right. I couldn't. I said, Sheldon, I can't find the girl, the wife, Laura. He says, uh, you'll know when you find her. You'll know when you see her. This girl came in, Mary Tyler Moore, looking like Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah. Great gams, beautiful girl. And, uh, <laughs> Great gams, I tell you. <laughs> you don't get to say that anymore, but I love no, it. Look I... at the gams on that game. Well, this was way back then when we yeah. talked like that. Look at the bowling <laughs> pins on that one. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I said, I gave her a piece of script to read, and she read the first line. It had a ping in her voice. Yeah. And I, I did this. I made my hand like a claw, like the machine in the, in the carnivals, you know, they yeah. get candy out of the things. I went across the room, I went to her head, and I, I grabbed the top <laughs> of her head. And I said, come with me. <laughs> and I walked her down the hall to Sheldon, and I yeah. said, I found her. Yeah. That was it. That's another thing we're not allowed to do anymore. 